your life, you did not miss much, except Rosalia set up spikes, um, and then there was a bunch of switching around, and air slash happened, and that's about it, now it's Rosalia versus Loma Mola in the finals of the mini torn, and there are some rules, stealth rocks, banned, life orb, banned, choice, banned, banned, and, uh, stuff so sludge bomb on the executor what will happen will he psychic will he sleep powder will he uh predict a switch um i don't know rosilia might outspeed executor might not uh be alive for very much longer Ooh, he takes a psychic that looks like specs damage because i know that his rosilia is very bulky so that uh that looks like specs to me and it was specs so yes as i read in the chat which you cannot see because you are not as privileged as me no, i'm just kidding but kicks can is in here he could fake out he could just go straight for the double edge the eq so many things could happen he goes for the fake out just playing it safe and uh he could go for the earthquake now he could switch out and then he could get shell smash up oh pulls the double in the honor predicting that what will happen now he can't really sub disable because well actually he can because he only has double edge to hit him other than sucker punch ooh he makes a nice play destiny bond to take out the kings can because he saw that it was going to be a giant threat to his team so not bad not bad at all Goes into Charizard, which is crazily overpowered in NU tier without rocks. And, uh, yeah. So, um, Primate versus Charizard. Ooh, Charizard is seeming to be scarfed, unless the Primate was not scarfed and takes him out the Air Slash. He goes into Caracosta, probably trying to get up his Shell Smash, except the Aloma Mola is still existent on Hyuntation. Hyunatation's side I, I i always thought it was hyuntation but it's hyunatation i have no idea what that means but it's there and so he goes to the air slash and he misses the stone edge that is crucial that sucks but um that's what's going to happen and he's going to pull a double now or not a double he's just going to switch out into a little more wanted to take that and he goes into resilia as fodder i guess and then he was probably going to want to go into his Kangaskhan um, to get the fake out damage. And um, I don't know because maybe fake out and then take him out with double edge because he wouldn't be able to take him out with the combination of fake out sucker punch. So I don't know what his whole thought process was there. But he actually takes out the Roselia with his Loma Mola. And he's talking about how he thinks his Roselia should be faster. But... The Alomomola is apparently speed invested. So this lo is looking like Specs Zard on how he brought it in. That looks like Specs damage. That is some big power for um stuff. And um someone's calling wins already. It's way too early in the match to say that. And uh Charizard is going to be able to take out the uh, Alomomola with another Air Slash unless he somehow misses it with that 5% chance. And he, if he does miss, then the Waterfall will probably take him out. He could fodder something to keep Alomomola alive, but he does not. He goes down, so it's 3 versus 3. <clears throat> what will he send in to take on the Charizard, which is looking to be Specs? He has a Scarfed Zard. He has a Primeape, which I don't know the set of. He has a Haunter. And on Scorptation side, he has a Charizard looking at low health. Um, a Caracosta also at low health. And um, a 36%, which you can't see. And Kangaskhan at full. He has a Primeape at full. And a Haunter at full. And Charizard at full. So... Looks like Hyunatation has the advantage here. Let's see how it all rolls out. He just goes for the Air Slash. And he is going to bring in Caracosta. 
And I don't think he's going to outspeed after a Shell Smash, but they do carry the Aqua Jet. So he might want to try and set that up. He does switch out into Primeape. He does go for sh the Shell Smash. So that's interesting. Uh, it could be a sweep from here on out. I'm not too sure. Unless this Primeape just scarfed. Um, I don't think it's going to be able to outspeed the Caracosta. And I don't think an uh, Aqua Jet would kill. So, uh, yeah. And, uh... Oh, he is looking to be Scarfed, unless that's an extreme... Yeah, that's Scarfed. So, Scarfed, Primeape, and Zard. That's interesting. Um, I ran... Oh, I'm not even going to get into that. But Dual Scarfers can make a fun team. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. And he's bringing in Kanga to go for the Fake Out. I'm not sure if Fake Out, Sucker Punch will take him out. But it's definitely Hyunitation's game. So, that will be that. That was uh, the NU Mini Torn final. I'm not sure if it's like best of three or whatever. Crit on the fake out. Look at that. Kangaskhan for the comeback with the crits. Crit City. Oh, that's funny. But I do believe that in Showdown, when you do switch out, it is more likely to get a uh, critical hit. Um, or just hacks in general. From what I have experienced. So that'll be the game. I am actually going to wait until it is officially over to uh, call it a game. So let's find out what happens here. Because he might not be able to Oko the Kangaskhan, but I mean, Primeape's there. And there's not really getting past Primeape at this point. So it is kind of G did a G, and Scorp was winning a lot of battles that I watched and he was playing really well so uh, that's good he goes to the fake out um, double edge doesn't even kill Zard surprisingly so you could take him out with the sucker punch and it's looking like Kanga clutch right now <laughs> and uh, yeah so Kanga's can is a boss it's one of the main things that gives me trouble on many of my teams and it's just really good with the fake out double edge um, so with the scrappy and then the two other coverage moves which can be moved around so that's a good game I hope you enjoyed this tournament match that was not all too exciting but I'll see you later